Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading for this week. Let's go ahead and find out what the love vibes are for Aries this week. Spirit, tell me about the love situation for Aries this week. Tell me about the love situation for my Aries this week. What do they need to know? What are they going through? Tell me about the love vibes this week for Aries. Tell me about the love situation for my Aries. If you like this video and it re relates to you, please like it. It shows me some support as well as subscribing if you'd like to support my channel. Tell me about Aries and their love situation for this week. Thank you. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, Aries. That's why it took forever to get out. Maybe it's taken a while, but you're there. Beautiful. This is a passionate, and I feel this is connection. Maybe not physically yet. I feel, but I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. What is this passion? Well, it's a vibe. Tell me more about this passion for Aries. Tell me more about this passion for my Aries. Tell me more about this passion. Tell me more. Ooh, ah, that's so nice. With a friend. Or you've got friends that are totally saying, go for it, Aries. Could be a soul connection. All right, a very strong. And it's something that you know, it's like I'm just going to play it by ear. But I kind of know how this is going to pan out i've got my vibes and i trust them and i know i can see it's like spirit is showing me you're standing on top of a hill and, and you can see down the hill and you can sort of see this situation how it's going to happen and how it's going to pan out you're just sort of sitting back and let it letting it unfold um, and you're kind of really enjoying that view uh, just allowing things to happen just naturally and it's just such a beautiful vision for you. Um, and because it's quite in its uh, delicate, sensitive state right now, you don't want to manipulate anything. You don't want to change too much. You just like the vibes. You like feeling it. And it's just like, it's so beautiful. And it's something that you really cherish. And I feel that from you, Aries. And it just delight, joy, and you're totally into it, and you love it. And I feel that you're just like, I'm just going to let it happen, and I'm just going to love every minute. Ah, that's beautiful. Oh, Aries, I just got the tingles. All right, let's keep going. Spirit, tell me more about this for Aries in love. Ah, primal. Ooh, that's strong. This is almost like... A a really strong um a kind of like this connection that you cannot deny it's magnetic it is so intense and it's like this person stands out and honestly i would run for this person i would run to them if i knew um they wanted me to i would i would just do it because it's so worth it and it's something that you would change for that you would change your life for if it meant something positive for the long term it's just i feel that you're waiting and seeing and biding your time and allowing it to transform allowing it to unfold and allowing it to take its natural course That's so beautiful aries oh my gosh all right, Spirit, tell me more about this for Aries. And for my singles out there, this could be something that's coming towards you. Stay tuned for you, your who's coming at you reading. All right, and let me know how that resonates. Spirit, tell me more about this for my Aries. We have all oh, patterns okay this could be an on again off again but i don't think so i think this is a, a larger time frame a communion a soul communion a coming together of and it's a pattern 
Oh, okay. So you could be seeing each other on a regular basis, but nothing's ever come out. It could be like I see them at work every day. I see them, you know, in the morning commute every day or I see them at the cafe every day, something like that. I see them on a regular basis. It's something that we do often. I don't know what this connection is, but I'm feeling it. And I'm just allowing it to happen as it as it unfolds naturally. Now, for those of you who this doesn't resonate with, I feel this is lifetime after lifetime. And that's my first vision. I saw a long span of time where you're bouncing from lifetime to lifetime. And the universe is constantly giving you that push and shove to make this something, okay? And I feel that this is where you have come to a point again an apex and you're just sort of seeing what's gonna happen i'm not gonna push it i just want to see what this person will do and how this is going to pan out on a natural wavelength and that's how you like it i know areas you don't like to force things but at the same time spirit might be saying this is a pattern maybe look at your pattern and see how you can change things to not manipulate, not force, not push, but maybe a smile or a high or something to change. I'm going to ask the romance deck what what this patterns is. What is patterns? Because there is always a coming together of, and you're kind of expecting your soul to know. You would have had synchronicities, um, possibly a big life change just before you met romantic feelings okay so very strong romantic feelings is passion as fire you deserve love knowing that this is something that um you know you you kind of have been wanting uh finances and career may be um something that is connecting you together and we've got unrequited love but i feel that this is possibly a because this is in the negative so I'm going to ask spirit why we have this spirit tell me more about unrequited love could be that you work together could be that um, there is some kind of uh, workplace connection uh, maybe they visited your work maybe you work at a cafe and they come and see you you know or maybe they come and get a coffee but they're actually there for you Something along those lines. Tell me about unrequited love. Okay, the king and the key. All right, locked doors shall be opened. So somebody is actually... Um, uh, okay, so there is a situation that is leading someone astray that is unrequited love. So there is a situation where somebody is actually being led astray. Okay, is this you or your person? So this could be, you know, uh, a temptation on the side for you or for this person. And it's like, no, look at me, remember me, we've got this connection. But they're like, oh, okay. One day they suddenly bring someone else into the cafe with them. And it's like, sorry, um, I thought we had a connection. And now you've got someone new. You know, that kind of vibe that I'm picking up. But open doors, are, you know, things are going to start opening. This situation that they're going through is unrequited. So it's not something that's going to last. It is, you know, really you and this person have this connection. Uh, a long journey brings rewards. Again, that long time spans, okay? Could be something you've been waiting for. Spirit might be calling for you to um, step up a little bit, even though you don't want that manipulation. Like I said before, if you might have to take that little daring step and just let them know that you feel more than just the hello maybe can we have a coffee sometime or can we catch up and get to know each other or can we take this the next level of whatever level you're at take some authority in this and i know that that's not really what you want to do but there might be someone else lurking in the background that might you know look at this as an opportunity or take this person if they're single um, so unrequited love might be around the corner. Spirit might be saying, you deserve this love. This is something for you. Okay, so maybe take that chance. 
just saying maybe don't sort of you know do the risky things but you know let's see and um let me know how does this happen how does this work out uh, for this beautiful connection all right aries i'm sending you love always bye